Hi, and welcome to the Los Angeles International Film Festival. So that was Shanghai Story, and I'm delighted to be joined today by director Andre Ilyev and one of the stars of the film, Emily O'Hanna. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Hi. Hi, Natasha. Great. So I'm going to take the opportunity to ask you a few questions. So, Andre, what was the inspiration for the film, the initial spark? How did it come about? Well, it's been a long time, but uh, I goes without saying that a little bit was inspired by my own life here in China. I've been here for quite a while now. And, uh, you know, in Shanghai, just like any other huge city, you have people coming in, you know, to try to uh, try to achieve their dream or try to make it bigger, try to whatever they're trying to achieve. And, uh, and uh, uh, for the character, of, for the character of David, who is played by Drago Lazetic, it's kind of all on the surface there. And then you have a character uh, of Alice, who is Emily's character, and it's kind of, you meet these kind of people and you talk to them and it's just kind of, you know, when you're sitting there and talking to someone, you just know that something is going on, but it's because all these kind of encounters are very brief and very short. Uh, you just don't really go into, into very much depth of this. So it was very interesting to explore like this kind of people who, who, who come to Shanghai and those kind of two different, two different spectrum of people. And uh, it's kind of in, in this is kind of a universal story because you have people, you have foreign people who come to Shanghai, you have people from outside villages, out, outside cities who come here. And, uh, but with our characters, like they're both foreigners and uh, in that case, it's more extreme because they don't, it's a, it's a completely different culture. They don't speak the lang language as well. So that was, yeah. the, that was the inspiration. I think you capture that really well. And um, Emily and uh, Andre working together with both Emily and Drago as well. How did you work, how did you collaborate to really capture that, that essence of the characters? So, I mean, when uh, I had already worked with Andre before and um, I always enjoyed working with him because he's the kind of director that really knows how to create a safe uh, place, you know, for an actor. Uh, and so, you know, you can be foolish, you can be vulnerable, you can be strong, you can be confident, you can try things. And um, he's going to cultivate that atmosphere that's going to make it uh, interesting to just let go and just be responding and not acting, you know. So you're really in, in, a, in a place where it's more the, if I may say, the subconscious that's working. So um, it, it, was, it was really about letting the city uh, work on us. You know, so it was it was Andre's way of working added to the very energetic Shanghai and the atmosphere of working at nights because we were only working nights and sometimes very early into the morning that was, you know, just feed. We were just feeding on that. And uh, that was very um, exhilarating, I have to say, very inspiring. Yeah, to, to say to that, yeah, I mean, Emily and me and Drago as well, we've worked together already before. So we kind of knew like what was going on and what each, each other's thing is. And then like bring it into Shanghai, you know, it's very challenging when you're shooting, when you're shooting in Shanghai, you're shooting and we had a lot of, like most of the film happens at night and kind of like an acting and acting in this kind of ever-changing environment. It's, it's, it's very challenging, but also it's very exciting, I feel, to work in this kind of environment. Uh, you know, we had to move fast and we have to, we had a tight schedule. And, uh, you know, it's, I, and also it's, 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 a, it's a blessing as well, because you just never know what's gonna happen when you're shooting on a location in, in Shanghai. Like we had these instances, like the, there was this, 
there was this, uh, we were shooting this very, very demanding scene with Emily that she has to do her monologue when she kind of lets her guard down a little bit. And uh, we were all kind of fatigued and, and a little bit tired already. And it was way past midnight, we're shooting on the street uh, in the middle of the night. And then, you know, she has to do deliver this and she was doing good, but then suddenly there is this, uh, there is this car like just, just pulls over, you know? And then we just kind of stopped a little, for, for a little while and then the door opens and this guy just, just, just comes out. It's like the drunkest guy you can, you can imagine. He was, he was, so, and he just, we just watched him and he kind of stumbles out of the car and just makes his way toward our crew. And we had a small crew, we had maybe 10 people there and he just stops and he just starts looking. And so we just decided, let's just go, let's just go, with it. let's just roll. So we started rolling and then Emily's doing her, her monologue and suddenly the guy just starts interacting with her. And whatever she says, she would like just cheer on. And I think it was Japanese because he spoke Japanese and whatever she said, and he would repeat what she said and he would just like cheer her on. And that kind of thing, like it gave us energy, we really finished the scene. And I, it's, it's one of my favorite things, you know, in the, in the whole film, it was one of my favorite scenes. So shooting on these kind of locations, you know, you just have to like roll with it uh, and see what happens. Oh, that's an excellent story. Um, tell us a bit more about some of the other challenges that you've had or also some of the highlights of shooting in Shanghai. Um, well, I can definitely talk about uh, some of the highlights. I mean, uh, and I'm sure Andre has a lot of highlights as well. But, the, you know, there were the 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 fact that we were able to, I mean, for me, it was paying kind of paying a tribute to 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 this city and and uh, to the people because um for example when we were shooting in the ruins uh this place was really inhabited by by a man uh who had been who was born there and who had uh his whole family that had been living there for decades and this playing was been this place was been torn apart and and so you just enter this place that's so filled, there's so many layers already, and you're gonna be adding or just feeling and 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 getting all what he's offering you and and just adding a tiny layer to it. So it was all these, all these this, and and I had also a moment where I remember we were going through this park uh with all the because in in, uh, in shanghai what's beautiful is you the parks are, are so alive uh, so many things happen in the parks and a lot of old people love to gather there and and dance and dance until very late at night and um so we were go we were just passing through this park and and we we saw all those old couples dancing together exchanging sharing and andre say said at this moment you know i want this i want this i want to use this this is beautiful and because he's i think he saw me being you know kind of mesmerized by all all this love and uh and i think he felt that there was a, a, a sort of uh, interesting um a resonance with 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 what alice was going through in her own story and so we just he said okay we're just gonna, and that was the beauty of what shanghai was offering us and how and how Andre works and how suddenly, you know, he would say, let's stop and capture this and do this. This is, this is beautiful. This is something I want to capture. And, and so those moments were, were very rewarding. I, I, I was, um, I was very inspired and, and, uh, and uh, yeah, thankful, grateful for those moments. And, and, you know, we had also, you know, we had a lot of, I mean, our all the whole our crew was, we had like very diverse and very international crew during this thing. And so we had, you know, we have people from Europe, we have people from the US and uh, our cinematographer Gerd is from, is from Africa, is from Togo and our, and other, other crews from China and our producer and our investor from China. So it was kind of amazing, you know, to do this thing with these people because they're from different countries, they have their own different mentalities, but we all live in, in Shanghai and we all kind of understand what Shanghai is. So this kind of, the connection was there. And you know, also from the people from 
our producer and from our investor to just kind of like embark on this adventure with us and to just kind of be very open-minded uh, to try this. Uh, it was, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's, uh, so the collaboration with all the cast and crew was just, it was, was, was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really, um, it, you've all, it's really clear to see that you all worked really well together and collaborated really well. And Emily, that's such a magical story of Shanghai, really beautiful. Um, and you, Shanghai is another of the char the characters of the story. And it's the, the way that you've, you've just brought the magic to the screen. And Emily, in your story, you touched upon, there, was, there were moments that you managed to capture that weren't planned. How much of Shanghai, how much did you plan in advance for the shoot? And how much did you just capture during the shoot to create this magical sense of the place? Well, um, it was it it was planned, but also you know you want to when you're there when you're working when you're shooting, you want to give yourself the freedom to to you know change something. Like I have an idea and I want to change something, and a lot of it also kind of comes out from the characters. Like you know, if David Drago's character is it's it's all on the paper. You know, it's him. It's uh, it's him in in the real life. But then again, like. Emily's character is very nuanced and there's a lot of these little things to capture. So we try to do this. So we try to see where the right moment is for this. And I think, you know, that kind of just to see where to do this, where to do this, uh, you know, there was that, that Emily was able to, to capture. Uh, it was something that was really not, not, not exactly you no know, planned. Yeah, I mean, I received a script that was that was uh, you know written and everything was there and um, this character uh, you know who's who's brave and strong and and broken all at once was there, um, but again, it was just about you know um, letting go at some moments where we were shooting uh, in this gigantic city because this is this this was pretty challenging. Um, to let go and to, and to listen to what's happening. And, and those were the moments where Andre had the, you know, the, the um, he felt that those were the moments he had to also, you know, let us, um, let things happen. And he was smart enough for it, for, to, you know, to let this happen. Uh, he was not, although we were on a really very, uh, <laughs> you know, tight schedule because there were so many locations and we only had the night to shoot. So, uh, but he still, I, I really, I, I have a, a, a huge admiration for it, for his calmness because, you know, it, it, it can be very overwhelming, but, but Andre is very, you know, he, he remains calm and he, because you can easily panic in those situations, but he, you know, and you can become in big trouble, but he would always remain calm. And that calmness, I think, would let him stay open to whatever was going to happen. And, and he would, you know, he would, um, he would, yeah, he would share this with us. And, 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 and that's how we worked. And that's how the magic could happen from, from time to time. Wow, it sounds like a, a wonderful experience as well. So I just, uh, my final question, what are you guys up to next? What's happening with the film? And also what's happening with other projects with, with you both in the future? Well, for the film, I would of course like for it to, you know, to go out and I would like more audiences mm -hmm. to watch it. And hopefully one day I'll be able to watch you with an audience as well. Yeah. Uh, and for, you know, for other projects, we have something uh, that we're working on together with Emily. And, uh, you know, there's other places to explore and other stories to be told. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. I feel, I feel very grateful that, uh, you know, that uh, we can finally get the film out there and that, 
I'm, I'm very excited to see how people respond to it. We've already got great, res great response. And, and it's, it's, it's so nice to finally be able to share your work because we don't do it, you know, just uh, to, you know, <laughs> to stay with uh, amongst ourselves. So the, the, it's, it's crucial to be able to share what you're doing and, and, um, and to see if it, you know, it, my, it echoes, it resonates with other people. Uh, so that that's for me is the the exciting part of of, of uh, getting uh, Shanghai story traveling around the world, and as uh, Andre said, uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, to meet the people too at one point, and um, yeah, and I'm excited about the the future and our our future project, um, which won't be in China. That's all we can say. <laughs> Because yeah, the world is big and there's a lot, a lot else to explore. But um, I guess it's all, it's it's still about you know, uh, I think what what's the most interesting thing, uh, which is the um, uh, human connection, like the true connections. That that was something I was really excited about too with this with this film when when Andre approached me and said, you know, I don't want to do a, a, a film that's plot driven, and I want to do something that happens, you know, only during in real time, like it's just one night. And um, I thought that was that was very exciting, very challenging. And so the next the next project is different, but there's still this 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 need to to explore what. Um, yeah, true connections are about, mm -hmm. yeah, and and how they shift, you know, us, how the the consequences of our of those of those encounters and all those, what what it what it does to us. So yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Um, yeah, I completely agree. It's it's especially in times that we're in at the moment. It's so great to be able to connect with people and we would love to connect with our audiences as well so we'd love to hear what you thought about the film and um, i hope you loved it as much as i did and thank you for watching the q a today as well so come and connect with us further we are at los angeles iff on instagram and twitter and we also have a facebook group for more connecting on there as well so thank you to everyone and thank you guys as well for joining me today. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you. Thanks, Natasha.